We have come unto the Lord. We have come unto the Lord. We have come to the Father. We have come to renew strength. We have come unto the Lord, we have come unto the Lord, we have come to the Father, we have come to the new strength. You are now before God. You are now before God. You are now before the Father. You have come to the new strength. I say you are now before God. You are now before God. have come to the Lord. You have come to the Lord. You have come to the Father. You have come to the Lord. Oh, yeah. Amen. I say we have come unto the Lord. We have come unto the Lord. We have come unto the Father. We have come to the Yeah, unto the Father. God, are you are now before God. You are now before God. You are now before the Father. You have come. Sister, you are now before God. You are now before God. You are now before the Savior. You have come to the strength. And to the Lord. And to the Lord. I say we are now before God. We are now before God. We are now before the Father. We have come to the strength. Amen. that is training people to be warriors. Training people to fight for the Lord in this end time. The Spirit of the Lord shall come upon your life. The power of God shall come upon your life. The Lord shall use you to do exploit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Commit yourself unto the Lord and say, God, I have come here for something good, something new, something different.
you are here for something different something from heaven the power of god from heaven that is the reason why you're here you have come before your goal you have come before your creator to change your life transform your life fill your life use you according to his purpose The Lord shall put the power upon your life. The Lord shall do something wonderful in your life. Something wonderful, something great, something special. You are before heaven. You are before heaven. You are before heaven. You are before heaven. Yes. The Lord is looking down upon you. The Lord is looking down with delight upon your life. He's happy to have had you gathered before him. Something great will happen. Angels are before God for your sake. They're ready to run errands for you. They're ready to bring down the blessings of God upon your life. They're ready to bring down the power of God upon your life. They're ready to transform you. They're ready to fill you with the blessings of heaven. Welcome to the presence of God. Power of God, power of God, power of God, transformation, transformation, power, authority from the heaven, authority from God in heaven, the power from God in heaven will walk in your life, it's already at war, it's already at war, power is already moving, the power of God is already moving, the power of God is already moving, in the calm, yes, the power of God is already moving everywhere. The presence of God everywhere. The presence of God. The works of the devil have been destroyed. They've been destroyed. They've been pulled down. They've been broken into pieces. The Lord is loosening people. He's loosening people. Breaking their yokes. That something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Over your life. Something is happening. The power of heaven is already coming down. Glory to our God, glory to our God, glory to our God, glory to our God. Something heaven, something from heaven is happening already in the Lord. Glory, power will move. The grace of God shall move mightily. Transformation shall come down upon your life. Transformation shall come upon your life. Miracles from heaven, miracles from heaven. Yeah. Glory, we are, heaven is in agreement with what we're doing. Heaven is in agreement. Heaven is in agreement. Heaven is in agreement. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah.
the captain of our salvation. Thank you for your power that gathered all these youths from the ends of the earth to the presence of God. Now, Lord, you will do your work. You will come and do your work. You will come and do your work. These youths are in the workshop of God. Miracles. Transformation. Salvation. Deliverances. Empowerment. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Oh Lord, you will empower them. You will empower them. These youths are leaving this place for exploit. Every knee shall bow before them. Every mountain shall be leveled before them. Every valley shall be filled before them. In the name of Jesus. I'm so happy that angels are here already. Angels are here already. By the commandment of the Father. In the authority of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Power. 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 You say you have given unto us power. To trade upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. Right now. The church is celebrating power. The church is celebrating power. Every demonic presence. Powers of witchcraft. Powers of mummy water spirit. The queen of the coast. Satan. I command that fire destroy you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Everyone that is bound by the spirit of the devil, I command, be loosed. I set you free. I say be free. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the authorities of darkness. The authorities of Satan. I command. That which you stand upon. It shall collapse. I break your power. I break your power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, take over. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Ghost, take over. Angels, position yourselves. These children will become God's children. The Lord is taking over their lives. The Lord is taking over their souls. The Lord is possessing them now. Therefore, they will give way. Give way. Say it and give way. You're welcome. You're welcome. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can be seated.
my heart is already rejoicing because I anticipate I foresee yes I perceive how the end of this conference shall be Yes, as you see yourself, you will be leaving this conference as wonderful. You will be jubilating. You will be rejoicing. You will be jumping. Like the lame man that has been lying in the beautiful gate. A time came. It was just pronouncing the name of Jesus over him. And miracle happened. His lame leg received strength. He jumped up. And started walking and people said people couldn't remember he was the one on the gate or right sitting down there for all this while is it the man yes he's the one or is it the man that is the one they will say so about you <laughs> because of what god has planned for you the good thing god has planned for you Everybody say, thank you God for bringing me here. I will submit myself to you fully. I will not allow anybody to distract my attention. I will not allow the devil to speak to me. My eyes will always be on Jesus. finish <laughs> so I'm talking to you on God's last day's plan for youth yeah yeah I am seeing the revival of this nation. I am seeing revival spreading to all nations of Africa. I am seeing revival crossing to the continents of the world because of God's plan for you. God's last day's plan for you. The last days are the days closer to the coming back of the Lord Jesus Christ to the earth for the, for the millennial reign. They are the days of increased satanic activities, heightened demonic activities in the churches and in the world these are the characteristics of the last days satan is saying he has a short time that tells us as the thing is folding up the anger of satan is increasing the violence of Satan is increasing because the Lord is folding up now. Because the end of the end time is before us now. And the devil is angry. He's angry that many people are not yet in hell he's angry
angry that people are still calling upon the name of God up to this time. He is working very hard, commanding his people, his agents, his demons to work fast. It's so great in our time. Satan does not want anyone to go to heaven. No. He does not. Multiplied wickedness among the youths, the adults, among the men and the women. He does not want anyone to be clean, to be righteous. He goes to the schools and makes sure through examination he corrupts every student that none should be righteous in the school. Nobody should pass exam with sincerity so that they should all be hell bound. In every faculty of life, there is increased activity of demons, increased activities of wickedness. Man has been rendered multiplied times wicked, evil in this world. Yes, much has been done in churches. Satan has entered into churches and silenced them, turned their ministers to demonic people who even will use human beings for sacrifice and be marching upon them in their altars where they are buried just to ensure God does not, does not use the altar of any church. No! loot everything is just as Pharaoh said every male child among is the children of Israel in Egypt should be killed nobody will escape Egypt that was his plan if all are women then who will lead who? Kill every child. The devil wants every person destroyed. All righteousness destroyed. Every person professing Christianity to be turned a hypocrite. Backsliding should enter every society. Then who is going to heaven? Who will go there? It's a terrible situation. The wall is dark. But God planned the birth of Moses. It happened at that terrible time. Yes. At that terrible time, Moses was born. Moses was preserved. God laughed at the devil by using satanic people to train up Moses. Herod himself, who represented Satan, was the one that trained up Moses. The miracles of God. I say the wonders of God. Give him a clap of ring. The wonders of God. Wonders. Miracles. Surprises. The power of God. He's God. He's God. Amen. Until from the house of Pharaoh jumped up a redeemer of Israel who came and led the children of Israel with mighty power out of Egypt with judgment over Egypt. Yes. Yeah. And Pharaoh himself died in a marvelous way. 
So, in this end time, where certain th things he has locked up everywhere, God has a wonderful plan. God has brought up a wonderful plan. For youth, for youth, there shall be explosion of righteousness in the world. The creator has planned this. The one that is wiser than the devil has planned this. And he has brought you here according to his program. He wants to make you a wonder to Satan. He wants to make you a wonder to humanity. While they are thinking righteousness has died, the Lord has planned to raise up youths like you and make you shine like stars. Hallelujah. Glory to our God. That's what God wants to do. He wants to surprise the world. He's already doing it. I say he's already doing it. We are a surprise to the world. A surprise. Because the devil thinks that he had cleared out righteousness from the world. But the God of heaven came in another way. And the righteousness that is entering the world now. Hey, by the time you are released from here. Let all those demons get ready. I said the righteousness that is entering the world now, the grace that is entering the world now, will turn the world upside down. Hallelujah. Yay! Are you willing? Are you ready? It is done. <laughs> Everybody say it is done. Say, as far as I am concerned, it is done. <laughs> Hallelujah. Characteristics of the last days. The last days are characterized by abundance of iniquity. Iniquity shall abound. And spiritual backsliding and apostasy. Many people in, in the church shall turn to Satan. Pure love of God shall diminish. It's already happening. It's already happening. It's only that a new people are coming up. I say a new people are coming up. <laughs> I have started my story. Yesterday, a small boy of about nine was brought to my office. This small boy was brought to Abuja to stay with someone, a relation of his, to take him to school. He had just finished primary school. So, in whichever way, by the working of God, to show the plan God has for the youth of our generation, the new thing that shall take over the world, this small boy listened to the message of Sister Linda, the divine encounter of Sister Linda, and cried, and cried, and repented, and got saved by the living God. Hey? Then the boy started immediately and told his guardian, repent. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's, a he's taking it seriously. It's, it's not a joke. What will follow you from here is not a joke. The Holy Ghost shall do 
do it. I said the Holy Ghost shall do it. He said, repent. Boy of nine. Boy of nine. He said, repent. The man was wondering, ah, which one, which repent again? He said, no, repent. I said, John, he, was, he refused to eat food. No, he will not eat food. I said, you should repent. <laughs> Amen. Day. Uh-uh. He said, did they say I come to here to go to school? I've canceled that school. It's, it's preaching. I want to be a pastor. I'm not going to school again. I say I want to become a pastor. The boy started a fasting life. I'm telling you. It's, the boy is here now. You hear me? He started fasting. He said he's pastor. Please take me to Pastor Porik. I want to go and see him. Is my boy. <laughs> my boy. Hallelujah. I say it's my boy. He started disturbing them. You must take me to Pastor Rica. I want to go and see him. Holy Ghost is walking. Holy Ghost is walking. He became serious. He was, since he was not eating, he was getting lean. They took him to hospital and said it was typhoid fever. Which typhoid fever? It's Holy Ghost. Everybody say it's Holy Ghost. <laughs> Holy Ghost is doing last time work. He's raising up army that would deal with the devil. He is raising up the army that will handle the matter of sin and the corruption of the world. He is raising them up. I say he's raising them up. Holy Ghost is raising up people. They will handle the sins of the world. They will handle the battle of righteousness. Glory to our God. Thank God they have brought him home. He is among his people. <laughs> I say he's among his people. You have come in the same spirit. If you see what will happen to you in this place, heaven will open. I'm just very happy with you. I see, what will I give you? What will I give you now? I'm just happy with you. Amen. Amen. Yes, in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew 24. The Bible tells us in verse 12. It goes, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall was called. Iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall was called. So things are going called, called in the churches. Iniquities have taken over. Iniquity, sins and evils have taken over because we're in the last days. They're multiplying. Spiritual backsliding. There's no originality anymore. Many have stopped going to churches. Because they said there's no difference. The God of the churches now is money. All they're looking for, all they gather the people for is money. The preaching is for money. Yes. Iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall was called. There's deception going on. Different kinds of lies. Different miracles of lies. Lying wonders. That's characteristic of this end time. And people are believing in these false prophets. False teachers. Look at it in Matthew chapter 24. 
verse 4 and 5. The Bible tells us, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. They shall deceive many. Deception. Various kinds of deception shall come out. Many of these miracles are witnessing their deception. They are wonders. They call them lying wonders. They are lies. But how they arrive at these lies, you are wondering. How did you arrive at these lies that look original? They are lying wonders. And people are going after them. People are going after them. False prophets have taken over the churches of Christ. In the book of Second Peter, chapter 2, Second Peter chapter 2, false prophets have taken over from verse 1 to verse 3. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privilege shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord about them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be, shall be evil spoken of, and true covetousness shall they with feigned wits make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. False prophets speaking wonderfully. They speak like saints. They speak like saints, but they're liars, false, and evil. You will not see righteousness in them. They tell you testimonies of lies, and you think God is with them. God is not with them. God doesn't know them. God doesn't know them. God doesn't know them. They are false. They are liars. They are cheats. They are not original people. They are corruptors. Children of the devil. Now, I give you a real, true revelation. There's one of these churches in Nigeria that the Lord revealed the occultic nature of that place. It's terrible. It's wicked. What they do there, as people come to church, there's the section of, spirit, of uh, go and worship God. There's a section of occultism. But the people are made not to know. The craft is well perfected. But those who are given to God will know. Because there's one thing you will not find in Satan. Satan will laugh. Satan will smile, Satan will joke, but Satan will never be righteous and holy. So that is how the, the ministers are. They would do everything, do all miracles, but never righteous and holy. And what matters in life is righteousness and holiness, not miracle. What matters in life is righteousness and holiness, not miracle. So for you to know. And that is what is going on now. Pollution. Has entered. Initiation. Initiating people to occultism. To spiritism. Competition is going on. How many will you initiate? Some. Because they heard that multitudes will be gathered here. They have come here. They think that you will find a chip here. We will initiate you for Jesus. 
You are not going to initiate one single person for Satan. We will initiate you for... That's the reason why you're here. Where we make it open. You want to do it secretly, but we'll do our own openly. You will become Jesus' person. I say you will become Jesus' person. By the time the Holy Ghost comes to where you are, I say, surrender, surrender. I say, say surrender. I say, sur Hallelujah. You will surrender. I say you will surrender. That's why you're here. Get ready. No power in you can resist it. I say, let God arise. I say, let God arise. The enemy will not be able to withstand. Yes. God will change your heart. God will change your life. God will remove you from the devil. Last days. Last days. There will be practical loss of morale and godliness. Practical. People will not be interested in righteousness. How many are interested in righteousness? In the schools, in the government, in the society, in business. How many are even interested in righteousness in the church? Because of the nature of the last days. They say they don't want God in their lives. They don't want God. If you want to talk about God, it's not here. If you talk about God, they say, hey, Pastor, they mock at you. That is it. In the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3. 2 Timothy, chapter 3, from verse 1. The Bible says, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. We are in that time now dangerous time in which multitudes are trooping to hellfire. Dangerous time. Even the church is not the solution to human souls. People go to church to be saved, but people now go to church to be made twice the sons of hell. By the pastors themselves. By the leaders themselves. Who will commit immorality with everybody. They're there for it. Render you wretched in sin and immorality. Render you wicked, initiate you. That is what is happening. It's perilous time. It's not only happening in this country. It's happening in the other countries. Wars even. Wars. Yes. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetors, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God. They love pleasures. They love pleasures. Even those who have come to Christ because of pleasure, they disappoint him and go back to Satan. Because of pleasures, money, money, money has cleared many away, initiated many, doomed many because many have died. We're in perilous times. Dark days. Dark days. Dark days. Where will you find the truth? Where will you find the lie? Where? Yes. Practical loss of morale, of righteousness, of truth. Of love, sincere love. No, you won't find it. Satan is doing greatly with the, with the children. 
greatly with the youth, turning them to other things. Kidnapping came up in this country and prospered and clearing the youth into that business. Yes. Making them children of the devil, agents of oppression of mankind. Making the world unsafe. They are at the Boko Harams, giving themselves, just kill people. Just go and kill. I'm robbers. Go and kill. Hired, the, hired killers. Go and kill. Go and do this. They take pleasure in it. World in darkness. The heart of the creator is pain. I didn't make the world for this. That is not my reason for making the world. Men have chosen Satan. The people I called to preach have decided to follow Satan again because of money, because of competition of power. So God is not happy. These things are happening now. In the church and in the society. We are passing through the heat of the end time. Yes. Heaven is feeling bad. Because of what is happening upon the earth. Why? God gave man free will. And man is abusing it. Man is abusing it. Man. Yes. Is abusing the free will of God. He eats up other human beings. Eats them up. Drinks their blood. Man. Man. Gives birth to children and kills them. Sells them. Make money out of them. Man. The corruption is high now. The Lord is coming. He wants to do a final walk upon this earth. And this walk is the walk of salvation. Heaven wants to move for the last time through the earth and gather people to take to heaven. It is time the last vehicle wants to take off. It's time to take the last passengers that shall be moving for heaven. That is it. So, God wants to, to move as God. His patience is, he said, now, I've been dealing with you as if I, I were a human being with you, just pleading, just begging. But now, I will deal with you as God. Because I am folding up the whole matter. I am closing up the whole matter. So, I will walk like God. I'm going to pass through this earth. The brightness of heaven shall shine upon the earth. The power of heaven shall blow upon the earth. I will pour down righteousness from heaven upon the earth. And turn many to righteousness. Then I will carry them and we go. Baba. That is his divine plan. And so the Lord is enrolling people. He is enrolling people. He has made plan for the youths. What he will do for the youths. He has made his plan. I'm just informing you the plan of God. So that you just enter into it. I'm introducing you to the vehicle of this entire. Taking the last set of people. You just enter into it. That's what will happen. Yes. 
in the book of Acts of Apostles. Acts of Apostles. Chapter 2, verse 17 and 18. The Bible tells us, And it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. Something is going to happen. I'm telling you, uh, Jesus came this morning in a revelation because we found grace in his side. But he came now as a lion. He said, when you see me come like this as a lion, judgment must take place. The, the, these ministers have offended me. They have wasted my church. And I'm talking to them, they're not hearing. Now, I will come and walk on them as the lion of the tribe of Judah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am coming for judgment. Because the time is no more. The time is no more. So, the Lord knows that there's no time again. He said, I've been working on them patiently, pleading with them as a human being with them. Now I come as God. I'm working as God. There's no time. That's why I'm telling you, I am here. I'm happy because you are here. Because this God that is ready to move is moving here with you now. He is starting with you now. He is going to do a special work in your life. Those forces, those powers, that are grabbing you and don't want to let you go, they will let you go. Yeah. Those ministers that have been deceiving you, he is going to deal with them. Yeah. I'm telling you, the Lord means business. He's going to deal with them. And they're going to release you. Yeah. He will release you from their hands. Yeah. You will serve the Lord. Yeah. Then you will go to heaven. How many of you want to go to heaven? You want to go to heaven. Ah, ah. Yes. You will go to heaven. Amen. Amen. So that is what he said. I will pour down my spirit upon all flesh. I have my plan for the youths in this end time. Yes. I have my plan for the youth. They shall prophesy. They shall see vision. I will pour revelations upon them. Many of you shall see Jesus. Then you will know we, we say Jesus came. You won't think that his play we are playing. Some people feel that. How do you commonize Jesus? That Jesus will be coming. Jesus loves us so much that he comes. Amen? Make yourself loving. You will enjoy Jesus. He that has my word. He that has my commandment and keep it them. I will love him. And I will come and manifest myself unto him. That's the world. Why does he always come? 
He has chosen us. He has chosen this movement to make his praises always there. He says he is going to release the judgment of death. We should watch. Since these people have hardened their hearts against him, watch and see. I've told you, let's be watching together. Let's be watching together. Because he loves you so much. Why are they blocking you from him? Why are they telling you lies? Where are they deceiving you? Where are they killing you? Where are they wasting your life? Wasting your youthful strength? That this, the glory of the youth is his strength to serve the Lord with it. And they're deceiving you. They're misleading you. He's angry with them. They're leading you somewhere. They're handing you over to Satan. He says he's angry. For your sake. Because he loves you. He wants you in his kingdom. Where they're depriving you of his kingdom. Where they're blocking you from coming to him. Suffer the children to come to me. For such is the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. The kingdom of heaven belongs to these children. Where they're blocking them. Even his disciples that are following them. Following him, he rebuked them. Allow the children to come. I'm their God. I am their Savior. I am their Redeemer. I need them. I want to populate my kingdom with them. I have a place in heaven for them. Where must you block them? I have my plan for their lives. I have end time plan. I have end time plan. God has end time plan. Jesus has end time plan. I said the Redeemer has end time plan for the youth, for the youth, for the youth, for the youth. Therefore, he said, I have come as a lion now. Who will stand? Who will stand? I'm so happy. Those people will run away. And all their captives will be arrested for Jesus. As you are going, as you are going now, we shall hear testimonies of you. They shall prophesy. They shall see vision. Prophesy. Yes. This means to speak for God to mean by the inspiration of God great power is going to come the spirit of God will walk on you you will be going home by the Holy Ghost I say the spirit will move you you will prophesy you will prophesy. You, what does it mean? Look at it. You're going to preach the gospel. <laughs> this gospel will be preached in a new way. In the book of Micah, 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 chapter 3, verse 8. The Bible tells us. Micah, chapter 3, verse 8. It says, But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of mind to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Something is happening. It shall happen on your life. You remember that small boy of nine that immediately began to tell the guardian, you must repent. Boldly, you will repent. You are going to go here with the gospel of repentance. Yeah. The power of God shall rest upon your life. 
the boldness of God shall cover your life. You will preach the word of God with authority. You will declare to these people their sins. You will go to these pastors and tell them their secret sins. That's the plan of God for your life. That's the reason why you're here. The Lord is going to transform your life. He will put his spirit within you. He will do it. I say he will do it. In the book of Acts of Apostles, I read chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible tells us, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. A power is coming. Come, those preaching of those weak pastors that change nobody. You will not be like that. Those preachings of those, those, what do we call them? How, what name do we call them? That never change people. Sinners remain sinners. Hmm. A new set of people, the Lord is raising them up. A new threshing instrument. That type of preaching of Peter and the apostles. That when they spoke, the people cried, men and brethren, what shall we do? The power is coming on you. We're going to change the world. I said we're going to change the world. Get ready. The Lord himself is ready to back you up. I say, he's ready to back you up. That little child of nine, the person walking in you is Jesus. The person preparing you is Jesus. The person that has started using you is Jesus. You will do greatly. You will do greatly. And we that he has brought you to us, we shall support you. We shall support you. Thank you, Jesus. That's what the Lord is saying. Power to declare this gospel. Power to declare this gospel. Yes, that's what the Lord is saying. He's going to give you power to handle the devil. Devil, <laughs> you have been laughing over these people. Simon the sorcerer, you bewitched the people of Samaria for so many years. You sat upon them by your witchcraft. Philip is coming. Yeah. Tell him that Philip is coming. Yeah. I said, tell him Philip is coming. Yeah. Whatever is the female name of Philip, Philippia, or what, what do you call it? Tell him Philippia is coming. Hallelujah. Yeah. Something will happen in Samaria. Yeah. Those demon power shall give way. Yeah. Those demon power shall give way. Yeah. Those powers that took over the church, that took over the society, that kept those people in bondage, kept people in witchcraft. God is raising up people here and he's sending them back. He will back you up. He will back you up. The devil shall give way. The devil shall give way. The mountains shall collapse. God shall use you. You will speak. They will say, Paul, I know. They will say, Jesus, I know. And Paul, I know. 
you are going there in the spirit of Paul. In the power of Paul. The devil shall recognize you. The devil shall recognize you. Angels shall walk with you. The people of Samaria shall be delivered. The people of Samaria shall be delivered. Simon himself shall be converted. Witches and wizards shall be born again. You are coming. Tell them that you are coming. Tell them that you are coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you I'm so happy with you. We are friends. I'm so happy. Hey, I've got my younger brothers and sisters. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Hey. Something will happen. I say something will happen. Conversion of the world. I am happy you were born at this time. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> That's God. Yes. The Lord. God shall make you see visions. He would do, he said, you will prophesy. I've told you. You will prophesy. You will speak the word of God. You will speak also to edify people. The Lord shall give you the gift of prophecy. The Lord shall make you to speak mysteries. You shall deliver people. The weights that will come out of you will cast out devils. Amen. 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 Well, you don't know this brother. Maybe you, some of you have known him. Brother Naaman. The one in Namibia. He has come to enjoy this youth conference. Amen. 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 There's something he told the coordinators yesterday. I was there. Part of what the Lord revealed to him is that when Pastor Porika is ministering, there are how many angels? Three angels that are walking. One angel will be opening the hearts of the people. Receive it. Receive it. <laughs> That's where I told those people that we shall initiate them here. Because angels will say, receive it. Receive it. You will take you to Jesus. We will bring you to Jesus. Yeah. Satan shall cry. Yeah. He, Satan shall cry that he has lost you. Yeah. Satan shall lose you. Yeah. They, he said, the second angel, maybe it's three groups of angels, maybe. Oh, whatever the power of God can do it. He said the second angel is just going. As Pastor Porika is preaching, he's distributing miracle. Blessing. Miracle. Blessing. Miracle. Blessing. Miracle. Receive. 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something is going on. I told you Jesus is here. Your turn has come. You will receive. You will receive. Day. He said, the third angel will remain with me in the pulpit. Is this speaking the same message? Is it a new message? The same message. The angels that visited me in the house were how many? Three angels. The angels that came to dress me with the word of God are how many? Three angels. The one that Naaman has, has been told is are how many? Three angels. Thank you, Jesus. That is it. That is it. That is what God is doing. Paul encountered a demonic personality in Acts of Apostles chapter 13. The people blocking the word of God. Blocking the ways of God. Preachers are coming. New sets of preachers. Yes. The Lord is renewing the old, vibrant preachers. Valiant men. Valiant spiritual men. Is multiplying them. In Acts of Apostles chapter 13, verse 6 to verse 12. And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But Elemas, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. God, come, are you really ready that God should use you? Don't mind your age. Don't mind your educational level. Don't mind whether you can speak English or not. Don't mind that. It is not English we're looking for. The Holy Ghost. It is the Holy Ghost that makes the difference. Amen? Amen. Whatever language, you have work to do for Jesus. And he's ready to use you. Amen. Satan is disturbing. He's hindering this gospel in many quarters. Is hindering this word of God. Refusing churches to grow. Blocking people from coming to Christ. See this man now. Paul the apostle and Barnabas went to preach. See, a, a, a big man. We could call him a local government chairman. Wanted to, to hear of Jesus. To believe in Jesus. Come and, come and preach to me. As they came, this man was using witchcraft. Using some other way to distract attention. Resisting them. And they quickly sensed that it was demon. And Paul, Holy Ghost came upon him. He looked at, the, the, at that man with his eyes straight. And Say the following words that shall follow you over there. Yeah. All full 
of all subtlety and all mischief. Thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind. Not seeing the sun for a season, in, and immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeking some to lead him by the way. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the law. I give unto you power. As you go, all those forces, all those powers, they shall be broken before you. The Lord is raising up new people. The Lord is raising up. It is part of his plan for the youth. He said, I should gather you before him. Because he wants to bless you. Yeah. It's like Jacob. He told Joseph, bring your two sons. I'm about dying. I want to bless them. This is the end of my life. I want to bless your two sons. Joseph brought them. So I have brought you. Yeah. The Lord is saying this is the end of time. I want to pour power upon people. I want to pour power upon the children, upon the youth. Bring them before me. Receive. The power to contend with the devil. Power to humble the devil. You will make the devil obedient. All spiritual blockade shall be removed. You are a new person. Don't agree with any thought that is saying it shall not happen. Don't agree with it. Yes. Because this is the end time. And this is God's plan for the youth. This is God's plan. Devil cannot celebrate forever. He cannot hinder the works of God forever. God himself is around. He is empowering his children now. If others are playing, you don't play. Because the matter is serious here. The matter is serious. Yes. He says. He wants to use young men and women. In last days ministry. He wants to, in, to enlarge your understanding. Your understanding shall be in love. You will know many things. You will understand many things. You will see many things. You will do many things. Your mind shall not be limited again. You will see vision. Yes. That's what God wants to do. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 9 and 10, the Bible says that, yea, my Colossians chapter 1, verse 9 and 10, for this cause, we also, since the day we had it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled 
with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Listen, the way beyond the way your fathers understood, you will understand beyond that. The knowledge of the Bible there was a confusion to your people. That is why they couldn't do anything reasonable. A greater knowledge, higher knowledge, larger knowledge, deeper knowledge is coming upon your life. Receive. I say receive. I say receive. You will know the meaning of the word of God. You will know the interpretation of the word of God. You will know application of the word of God. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, this is a great thing. You have changed. Nobody needs to come and tell me. I say, I'm telling you that you have changed. And all this is the beginning. Then how will tomorrow be? <laughs> That's why it's good to come here. You did well that you came. Yes. He will fill your vessel. going to give you spiritual insight and discernment. All these satanic men and women that have been moving around free, pretending that they were Christians, but are enemies of all righteousness, you will discover them. That's God's plan for your life. Vision. Revelation, yeah. discernment, yeah. intelligence spiritually. Yeah. That's it, it's in, it's in God's plan. What He will do in your life and various kinds of ministry. What the Lord will do is great. In the book of Romans, Chapter 12, verse 4 to verse 8. Romans chapter 12, verse 4 to verse 8. It goes. For us, we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So we, being many, are one body in Christ, and everyone members one of another, having their gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. Whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith or ministry. Let us wait on our ministry, ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorted on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Now, what the Lord is saying he would do among the youths is he's going to give different type of callings to the youths. Are you hearing? You will not be doing the same thing, but you will be doing the same thing. Yeah. This one will do this, this one will do this, this one will do this, this one will be doing this, that one will do that, one, that one will do this. The Lord. He is going to spread a kind of a chain of ministry. That while you're doing that, another one is doing that, we will all be connected together. We'll still be moving together. We'll still be doing this. Couple. We're doing that one. You're doing that one. Different kind of ministry. 
We'll be passing one another with joy. We'll be rejoicing. This one will shine bright light. This blue light. This red light. This green light. This is white light. This is hallelujah. And you see beauty. What God has for you is great. What God has in this end time is great. It's great. Come, it is now. All those voices that were singing and giving, rest, doing album in sin, after they finish singing, they go and commit immorality. They go to various places, come, collect voice from snakes and sick. The Lord is raising up new singers. I'm saying he wants to display the last display and then we shall go home. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! A people that their voice, when they sing, heaven would back them up. Miracles would explode. Light will shine. Hey, the Lord is going to raise up people with the gifts of healing. Even in the gifts of healing, there shall be diversity. This one will do like this. People will be healed. This one will do like this. People will move like this. Something is making me happy. Now, listen. Because of the great exploit of the gospel we are going now, it, we are going to realize a higher percentage of rich people in Christianity. Because this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the ends of the earth and money answered all things. Money will follow you. Money will follow you. Money will follow you. Money will follow you. That's wonderful. Then there's another thing. Everybody say another thing. In Proverbs chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 12. I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Glory! Glory! The Lord has reserved a place for holiness scientists. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen. The Lord has reserved a place for higher spiritual professionalism. A kind of heavenly wave of intelligence is going to come upon our youth to invent, to invent to produce, to manufacture fantastic things, marvelous things, wonderful things to glorify God. that you 
you produce something that the world was amassed about, get ready. If you come to receive a dream, a vision, or somebody told you that you manufactured, you invented something, and that the world was shaking, be ready. Because the Lord will want to display the intelligence of the sons of God. The intelligence of the sons of God. The intelligence of the sons of God. The world will witness it something. The Lord, the world will witness something. By the Holy Ghost. The Lord will give us chance to display his, his wonder, his power. Then he'll say, my children, let's go. We shall be going to heaven. <laughs> we'll move to heaven. We'll move. Rapture will take place. Rapture will take place. When we reach heaven, you will say, what did you do for Jesus? I did like this. I, you did, what did you, ah, my, I did like this. Ah, you did like this. With this, what is God telling you? Who told you that the Creator has no power and life for you? That the Creator has no, no work for you, no, nothing to do with you, no future for you? Who told you that God cannot do something in your life? Who told you to abandon God, that you left Him, that they say ah, his success is in another person? It back to your Creator in the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12, verse 1. Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. Remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw near, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Anything you are doing outside the plan of your Creator has no pleasure for you in the future. Has no meaning for you in the future. Come back to God. Give your life to Jesus. Surrender to Jesus. Settle with Jesus. He has a plan for the end time. He has a plan for you in the end time. The creator knows how to exalt your life. Come and settle with him. Come quickly. Give your, give your life to Jesus. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 3. Jeremiah. I read chapter 3, verse 4. Will thou not, not from this time cry unto me, my father, thou art the guide of my youth? Are you not going to submit this, your youthful life to him to guide you to this plan? To guide you to this last day's plan? To guide you to this last day's revival? To guide you to this last day's excellency. Is it not meant for you to cry to me and say, My God, you are the guide of my youth. He will guide you. Put your life in God. You don't have a father, don't bother about that. God is a father. You don't have anybody to help you, don't bother about that. God is a helper. You don't have anybody to fight for you, don't bother about that. God is a warrior. God is a provider. God is a comforter. God is a friend. God is a lover. God is the master builder. He will build you up. Put your life in God. Put your life into his hands. He will fashion you. He is more than a mother to you. He is more than a father to you. He is more than a friend to you. He is more than a brother to you. He will transform your life. You will be in the number. He will enroll you into the number. The number of excellent men. The number of great men and women. He will put you there. We shall hear of you. We shall hear of you. Because you have given God the right to control your life. Do it. You will see a difference. Do it. You will see glory. You will see glory. You will see Light will cover you. Amen. 
God is inviting you to come. Jesus is saying, come. Holy Ghost is saying, come. The Trinity has divine future for your life. Young man, young lady, the Lord is calling you. The angels, they do know what is in the hand of God for you, are saying, come. Come to God. Surrender those things. Occultism, throw it away. Those are deceits. They're disturbing your life. They're making you to drink blood. They're making you to eat human flesh. They're making you to fly in the night. They're wasting your life. They're sending you to hell. But thank God, you have not yet died. You are still alive. You have not yet died. You are still alive. You have not yet died. You are still alive. I say you are still alive. I say you are still alive. God is saying, come. Come unto me, I will change you. I will remove the rock. That rock. That dirty life. I will remove it from you. I will change your life. Glory. That's the invitation of God. Are you there? Are you coming to God? Are you saying, oh Lord, you are the guide of my youth. Who can make me who I want to be? Who can make me who you want me to be? Who can give me a future but God? Those my, those my masters who have taken me captive, they have no future for me. They are even using command. They are commanding me to do evil. Oh Lord, save me from them. Lord, I will come to you. Rise up upon your feet. Lord, I will come to you. Lord, I will come to you. I say, Lord, I come to you. Release yourself to Jesus. Release yourself to Jesus. I say, Lord, I come. You're the one to form me. You're the one to fashion me. You're the one to deliver me. You're the one, oh Lord. You're the one, oh Lord. You are. You are. You are. You are the living God. You are my Savior. You are my deliverer. You will construct me. You are going to construct me. You are going to give me a future. You will give me a hope. You will give me deliverance. Jesus. Jesus, call upon him, call upon him, call upon him. He will enroll you to his new plan. He will enroll you to his future plan. Jesus, God's plan for the youth, God's plan for your life. Young lady, special husband, special way, special love, special, special. God has it for you. Young man, special. Something good is going to happen to you. To happen to you. To happen to you. Something good is going to happen to you. Jesus of Nazareth is calling you. Something great is going to happen to you, to happen to you this very day. Something great is going to happen to you. Jesus of Nazareth is calling on you. Something nice is going to happen to you, to happen to you this very day. Something nice is going to happen to you. Jesus of Nazareth is calling on to you. Jesus of Nazareth is calling on you. Jesus of Nazareth is calling on you. Jesus. Lord, move 
among your people. Take over their love. Take over their love. Take over their love. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Pa. 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 Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. In the lives of your children. In the lives of your people. Break their yokes. Break their yokes. Deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them. Go. Deliver them. Jesus. Deliver them. Deliver them, deliver them.
transformation. First touch of Jesus tonight. First touch is coming on you tonight. Yes, you are in terms with God. You say, God, you have been talking about me. I want to settle my case with you. No more sin, no more immorality, no more drunkenness, occultism, drug addiction, no more witchcraft in my life. I'm for you. I have decided now. Just raise up your hand where you are. Raise up your hand. Power is coming to touch you there. Power is coming to touch you there. I say first touch tonight. The first touch is coming. Now, tell the Lord you're giving your life to him. Settle with him. Settle with him. Settle with him. Give your life to Jesus. 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 Settle with Jesus. Settle with Jesus. Confess your sin. Confess your sin. Confess your sin. Confess your sin. Tell him to forgive you. Tell him to change you. Tell him to deliver you. Tell Jesus. you from Satan. That bondage Satan put you into, the creator of your life will remove you from there. Now, say, come, say this with all your heart, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. You are my savior. You are, you are my redeemer. Lord, save me from my sin. Change my life. Deliver me from Satan. Wash me with your blood. I have decided not to follow Satan again. Not to practice evil again. I have decided to be for you. I have decided to follow you. I have decided to obey you. Write my name in the book of life. From today, From today until, I die, until I die or until you come, until you come I, am I am for you. Open your mouth and tell Jesus like that. Tell him. Tell him. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. Not on him, not on him. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. To follow Jesus, 
I have decided to follow Jesus, not turning back, not turning back. Amen. Now lay hand upon your body, yourself. That I, I want to ask Jesus to collect you for himself. Are you willing? Yeah. I will ask that. See, you have laid hand upon yourself and say, you are for him. Let him collect you. And add you to this end time use. That he is planning to use. That he is planning to upgrade. I will ask him to cleanse you from your sin. Where Satan has already interfered in your life. I am going to ask Jesus to remove you from Satan. Yeah. Lay hand upon your soul. Almighty Father, let the power of heaven move. Let the power of heaven move among us. Let your angels move among us. I am praying, oh Lord, as they give themselves to you, receive them. Oh Lord, receive them. Oh Lord, receive her. My God, receive him. Let power come from heaven into their lives and let sin disappear. Disappear. I Command sin, immorality, masturbation, drunkenness, drug addiction, witchcraft, occultism, lesbianism, homosexuality, by the power of God, get out! Get out! In the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, let the blood of Jesus, the wash is white, wash it from sin, wash his sins away, walk in her life, walk in his life, walk in their lives. Be clean, be clean, be saved. Be saved in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Allah divine, I bind mommy spirit, witchcraft spirit. Allah, every strange spirit in their life. I say, deliver them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Allah divine. Those demons, I set fire on them. Those demons, I set fire on them. Therefore, Jesus, go. I say, go. I say, live their lives. Go away from their lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take over. Spirit of Christ, take over. Therefore, you. Therefore, Jesus, they've come to the Father. Embrace them. Embrace him. Embrace her. Write the name in the book of life. Write his name in the book of life. Write her name in the book of life. Enroll him into your last day plan. Enroll her into your last day plan. My brother receive. My sister receive. The grace of God. The power of God. The salvation of God. The freedom of God. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. The message you have just listened to 
is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.
I believe, I believe. 